So hello, I'm State Representative Dave Pinto from St. Paul. I'm, I'm the House author of those bills that Senator Laz just referenced about, regarding criminal background checks and gun violence protection orders. Um, and outside the legislature, I serve as a prosecutor. I specialize in gender violence, domestic violence, sexual exploitation. I took that job because I wanted to keep people, and especially vulnerable people, safe. And whether you're a Republican or Democrat, whether you're a conservative or moderate progressive libertarian, we all agree on one basic function of government, right? And that's the one to keep people safe. Yeah. Now, you are here to demand that your government, your representative, your senator, fulfills that duty because they have not been fulfilling it. Oh. Bills to reduce gun violence have been introduced for years. And the Republican majority won't even give them a hearing. Now, so let me tell you what you need to do today, and tomorrow, and the next day, and the day after that, and every single day until those bills get a hearing, get a vote, and become law. You need to go to your legislators and the Republican leadership. And when you do, don't worry about bill numbers and names and details. Don't worry about any of that, right? You just tell them three simple words, keep us safe. Yeah. When a gun is sold, we should be able to check to be sure the buyer is not prohibited from having the gun, right? Keep us safe. When family members or law enforcement see dangerous red flags, they should be able to go to court and keep guns out of the situation. Keep us safe. We, no. should, we should actually be able to do full research into the causes of gun violence, like we do car crashes, drug overdoses, anything that kills us, keep us safe. Yes, more funding for mental health services. Absolutely, of course we need that. But that's not enough, right? Keep us safe. And no, posting armed guards at every entrance to every school and movie theater and park and church service, and prayer circle, and place of employment in the country. No, that is not a solution. Keep us safe. And while we're at it, arming school teachers is insane. Keep us safe. There, there is no reason for untrained civilians to have military grade weaponry, right? Keep us safe. We need to hold manufacturers accountable when they make these products. Keep us safe. Our lives are worth more than your gun money. Keep us safe. It's actually a pretty simple task, right? Go to your legislators, Republican leadership, and repeat three words over and over and over again until they finally get the message. Keep us safe. Again? Keep us safe. 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 Ke